क्वेश्चन नंबर 146 द पिगमेंट आइडोपसिन इज प्रेजेंट इन रॉड सेल्स कोन सेल्स एमोक्राइन सेल्स हॉरिजॉन्टल सेल्स पिगमेंट आइडोपसिन इज प्रेजेंट इन कोन सेल्स एंड देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ आइडोपसिन दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन कोन सेल्स एंड दीस पिगमेंट्स आर रिसेप्टिव टू रेड कलर ग्रीन एंड ब्लू so the correct answer here would be option number 2 cone cells and rod cells are concerned with the scotopic vision also known as night vision whereas amacrine and horizontal cells receives input from photoreceptor cells and bipolar cells the correct answer here would be option number 2 cone cells question 147 a yoga instructor is able to balance her body upside down even with her eyes closed because of receptors located on retina cochlea vestibular apparatus tympanum for balancing our body upside down and to have a spatial orientation vestibular apparatus plays a key role it is a sensory system and it would help in balancing for spatial orientation and it will also coordinate our movements when we are trying to balance so option number 3 vestibular apparatus is the correct answer retina is the photosensitive layer of our eye cochlea is the coiled structure in our ear and tympanum is another name for ear drum the right answer is option number 3 vestibular apparatus question 148 the fovea centralis has high density of cones and no rods it is located in a small pit called macula densa macula lutea macula adherens macula utriculi On retina a yellowish pigment area is present it's called as macula lutea and at the center of this macula lutea there is a small depression which is called as fovea centralis and fovea centralis only contains cones and there are no rods present here the question is asking about its location it's located in macula lutea the right answer here would be option number 2 macula lutea whereas macula densa is found in kidney macula adherens is the adhering junctions between two epithelial cells so these are seen in epithelium and macula utriculi is a structure found in ear the right answer is option number 2 Question one forty nine. The main function of cornea, which is an important component of eye, is bending of light before it reaches lens, providing structural support to the eye, accommodating the cone cells, changing the shape of lens. So the main function of cornea is it would refract the light rays and help. in focusing them onto the retina a transparent crystalline layer and helps in refraction or bending of light before it could reach lens the right answer here is option number 1 providing structural support is incorrect accommodating the cone cells is also incorrect and it cannot change the shape of lens the correct answer is option number 1 Question one fifty. Which of the following statements is not correct? We are looking for an incorrect statement here. Retinal is present in light absorbing portion of photopigments. Constriction of pupil occurs in very bright light. Retinal is a derivative of vitamin C, and rhodopsin is purplish red protein present in rods. Let's go over them one by one. Retinal is present in light absorbing portion of photopigment. That is a correct statement. and pupils would constrict when there is very bright light that is also a correct statement whereas option number 3 retinal is given to be a derivative of vitamin c which is incorrect retinal 
is a derivative of vitamin A and vitamin A is also known as retinol and its aldehyde conversion would give retinol, retinol to retinol and deficiency of vitamin A could result in night blindness. Option number 4, rhodopsin is purplish red protein present in rods. That is a correct statement. The incorrect statement here is option number 3. So that is our answer.